Hello, welcome to Real Time Signals Technologies. In this video, I'll define data science and talk about what sets it apart as a discipline. On the surface, data science is just statistics. On the surface, it's just modeling data. Often, data science is derided as a marketing term for doing statistical analysis. Why not just call a data scientist a statistician? But that's just the most visible aspect of it. You need to know your statistics well enough and have some mathematical intuition to carry out data science. But you also need programming skills, domain-specific knowledge and communication skills to share the results with your colleagues. Where does the data come from? I'd argue that gathering data, filtering, scrubbing, converting, transforming and aggregating it, all of what now comes under the umbrella term data wrangling. Data wrangling is the most important, if not the most time consuming aspect of data science. This is where the programming and software development side of data science mostly happens. The data analysis tip is the process of data science involves all of the usual statistical analysis concepts and tools that a statistician normally works with. Sampling data, measuring, estimating, modeling, hypothesis testing and things like confidence intervals and margin of error etc. But this is just one step in the full range of a data scientist. Let me get onto the modern machine learning, which comprises techniques used to teach a computer to model based on statistical methods, so that a computer can learn to carry out algorithms without being programmed to do so. So we call this learning in a supervised learning way or an supervised learning way. And then you get all the modeling techniques like regression, using Bayesian analysis, classification, clustering, things like forests and trees, for example, if we input a million images of cats, we have a supervised learning method of cats images. We feed it into a machine learning classification algorithm and we determine if it can deduce or teach a computer to look at the pattern of cat images and apply it to any image it receives so that the machine has learned to see cats when they appear in pictures. Finally, none of this happens in a vacuum. You need to communicate your data science. You need to present it in plots and charts in tables, in written narratives, so that your colleagues looking for answers and making decisions based on the results can understand your models and your analysis. In my view, any comprehensive multidisciplinary field or work of study is hard to describe. So just call it data science and those who make a living from it data scientists. And the rest is in the details. And that concludes this presentation on what is data science.